Hello, Vincent TV, back again with another episode of our Manager to Glory career mode. There have been some amazing individual performances recently. The team is flying. I'm intrigued to see what the end of the season holds for us here. These are the games we're going to be playing for this episode then. We've got Wolverhampton Wanderers to play in the um, FA Cup, I believe that is. We've got Watford to play. I might seem that game, actually. They've been struggling this season. I think they currently sit 15th on the table. So I think we might seem that game, but I don't know yet. I'll give it a little think about. We've got Everton to play as well, who are looking to get into that top six. So that will be a difficult game. If we seem the game against Watford, it means we're going to be playing the Crystal Palace game. But yeah, I'm not sure about yet. But without further ado, let's get into our first game of this episode. Into the press please. conference then for this big one in the FA Cup. Trezor Gay is in good form. We will see more of him today. I think so. Oh, it's the cup game, isn't it? I'd like to rotate my squad for this one. But yeah, what's the next question? You put the game to bed beyond doubt in the last game. Do you reckon that Wolverhampton Wanderers... Do I reckon if they're concerned? I doubt it. They're a decent side and this is not a Premier League game anyway. I'm going to go on and say morale is irrelevant in this game. And finally here, will your rival win this round? We won't let the fans down. You know, just, just keep it simple. There's no need to be big-headed. We're going to give it our all like we always do, but hopefully we come out on top as well. Boyan Engels then has come to us and said he's been in pretty good form lately. He would like to get a run of games. He'd like to get a run in this game. I'll go ahead and say I'll consider it. I think he's going to start as well. I mean, we're going to play Bastoni in this one as well. But without further ado, let's go into the game. Well, nice to have you along with us at Molyneux. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Our football is from the FA Cup. We're at the quarter. This is the quarterfinals of this competition by the way, so we have got to take it serious here. Although saying that, I've still rotated the team, that haven't stopped me from doing so. Yeah, well, like I said, this is this is somehow regarded as a, as a rivalry game just because they're, they've got the stadium four miles away from Villa Park. But anyway, they've gone strong as well in this game. Traore, Jimenez and Jota up front. Boli Stark and Dendonkar at the back. Doherty, Feminia, Neves and Aaron Guiz as well. It's a very decent team for them. For us then, it's some heating in goal. The likes of Kenny Tetti and Goose, Hunter and Target starts this one. I was going to play Bastoni, but then I realised I'm going to need someone with the pace to be able to deal with the pace of Traore on that right hand side but anyway let's get into this Wolverhampton Wanderers are gonna start things here in this massive game in the FA Cup I'd love to go to Wembley again by the way we we went to Wembley in the in the Carabao Cup finals and we won that competition as well Ruben Neves gave the ball away there very sloppy that's unlike him O'Carroll with a nice turn oh, he's giving it away though I've got a feeling we're, go we're going to miss Jack Grealish in this game. I'm hoping O'Carroll is going to have enough to fill in Jack Grealish's boot in a massive game like this against Wolves. This is the first time he's going to be playing against a quality opponent like Wolves. Cross into the box there from Hotter. It's been dealt with there by Matt Target. Ruben Neves to Adama Traore back to Neves but they've given it away on that right hand side Gapo is going to find Akamba the referees decided to play on Douglas Lewis looking to go to the left hand side here to Brian O'Carroll Brian O'Carroll there with a lovely touch he's going to find Samata Trezeguet has made the run there Samata is going to find Trezeguet surely he can finish this one in the bottom left hand corner that's the start we wanted in this game that's the start we wanted. Trezeguet, by the way, I've asked to play this game. There's one thing I've noticed. When players ask to play a game, ask for a game time, give it to them. They always play well. That's exactly what we've done with Trezeguet. And he hasn't let us down there. Nice pass from Samata. Composure in the box. Lovely finish into that bottom right hand. Bottom left hand corner, I mean. And that's only his first goal in this competition as well. His first goal in the FA Cup. We just need to defend now. Wolves are a dangerous team. We know that, especially from crosses. 
surprising enough. Kiko Feminia is going to find Hotter. Hotter back to Feminia. Feminia back to Hotter. Both of them combining very well on that left hand side. Aaron Gies now on the ball. Aaron Gies to Raul Jimenez. Raul Jimenez have gave it away though very poorly and Gould is going to drive with this one forward and Gould is going to find O'Carroll O'Carroll to Douglas Lewis what a pass out wide that is to Doku Doku is going to find Samata oh he just couldn't put the rebound into the net there what a chance that was to go 2-0 up in this game for some reason they're showing the attempts from about 20 minutes ago Oh, the corner have been dealt with. You Wolves hardly concede the goals from corners. Oh, they have fantastic defenders from defending set piece. Surely the referee is going to end the first half there. Fantastic performance in this half. I don't think Wolves have had a shot on target yet. I doubt it. We've been the better team here in this game. Look at that. They've dominated the ball though. They just haven't been able to create anything from it. Gap was done well there to skip past the defender, but he just ran out of room. Ruben Neves is going to find Aaron Gies. Aaron Gies to Raul Jimenez. He's dropped so deep there to get that ball, and there's no one in front of him. Hotter with a switch of play out wide to Helder Costa, the second half substitute. Oh, that's a chance. That is a chance. You give Raul Jimenez that again, I tell you what, he's going to finish it. That's very unlucky there. Wolves again on the attack now. Ruben Neves going to find Raul Jimenez. And once again, he's dropped very deep to get the ball. And there was hardly any runner in front of him. Switch a play out wide to... Switch a play out wide to Costa. Costa with the cross into the box! Ah, oh, the little shimmy there from Raul Jimenez, I believe. Ah, oh, that has just confused Ezri Konza. He should have cleared that ball. But that little shimmy from the strike here. It's just, look at that again. The cross into the box from Helda Costa took it, deflection as well. That attempt, that attempt from Jimenez to win the ball back. But he just couldn't get it. It's just, ah, oh, that's just played the trick on Exry Konzo there. Lovely finish though from Aaron Gies, but let's be honest, they don't deserve this. We have to go a little bit more attacking now with Jack Grealish coming into the pitch. I'm also going to bring on Wesley Moraes in place of Samata. We, we don't, they don't deserve to be, to get an equalizer in this game, but that's football for you, isn't it? Oh, that is, I'm sure that is their fair shot on target. It's ridiculous and they've scored from it. Gapo have done very well on that left hand side he's going to find Jack Grealish he's only just come on the pitch Jack Grealish and that's, that's why we brought him to the pitch he's won us a free kick there in a dangerous position he likes to take on players as well very tricky quick feet but yeah Brian O'Carroll is going to take this he's taken a few this season he hasn't been able to score any though but I'm sure it's only a matter of time that goal is going to come from a set piece Brian O'Carroll looking for the top left hand corner the straight into the hands of Rui Patricio there very comfortable Nicholas Stark now the centre back has made a lot of room to find Aaron Gies Aaron Gies has delayed that pass but is now going to find Diego Hotter or Jota however you pronounce his name Jota with a cross into the box, dealt with there by Matarget on the far post. He's very good on the air, isn't he, Matarget? We cannot concede the goal here. It's been blocked. The space opened up here to go on the break. Jack Grealish, can he do this on his own? Wesley has, has refused to make the run. Jack Grealish has skipped past a couple of players here. This has got to be. This has got to be a goal. This has got to be a goal. I tried to sweat it to Wesley Marias. I should have gone for the finesse shot there with Jack Grealish. That arguably would have been the goal of the season for us from the position it picked up that ball as well but we need to stay focused here just under a minute to go now two minutes at a time from the from the fourth official Aaron Gies is gonna find Ruben Neves to hell the cost of the man who I don't I don't actually know if they're gonna give him that assist that cross for Wolves goal took a deflection but yeah 
that was it for the full time whistle I think this is going to be going to extra time yes as well it's going to be going to extra time this is an extra half an hour that we don't need considering where we are in the Premier League and the next game is going to come very quickly as well in the Premier League switch a play there from Ruben Neves out wide to Helder Costa fantastic defending there from my target Nakamba to Wesley Wesley with the first time touch to Okaro. Okaro is going to find Trezeguet now. Can Trezeguet make this a second goal from exactly the same position? Oh, no. I tried to chip that one. Lovely, clever chip there just over the goalkeeper. You can see what the fans think about that as well. That's so unfortunate. I'm sure they're going to show that in a minute on goal line technology. But I don't think it's a goal anyway. Oh, Jack Grealish there trying his luck. That wasn't very far away. Yeah, the goal decision system there showing it's not a goal. I, I didn't doubt that, to be honest. Yeah, it wasn't even close. That's going to be it here for the full, well, for the first half of the extra time. It's going to go to the second half of the extra time. And if it's still level, it's going to be penalties. We won the Carabao Cup finals on penalties. Although I'm a little bit nervous. It just depends on how well they take their penalties I know I'm gonna score a couple can my can my goalkeeper make a couple of saves when he gets to that time Raul Jimenez has been taken off for Leo Bonatini we also took off Brian O'Carro for another of our main prospects in Brian Ennis this is actually his second the second time he's coming on as a substitute and he know he almost made a very quick impact there in the second half of the extra time a little bit selfish there from me to go for goal from that position but yeah we saw Nicholson come up come come on from the bench against West Ham yeah that's a free kick referee we saw Nicholson come off the bench against West Ham to score that cracking goal as well really Bolly there is gonna go into the referee's book for the yellow card Jack really here is gonna go short to Ennis Ennis back to Trezeguet, Jack Grealish, Trezeguet took the free kick shot there, short, not Jack Grealish, Wesley now with a nice 10, surely we're going to score from this, Wesley's going to find Gapo, that was the chance to get the winner here, nice connection with the shots bro, way off target that one, the referee's going to end the game here anyway, and this is going to, this is going to be going into penalties, we always like to do it the hard way in this cup competitions, don't we? Wolves don't deserve to get a draw from this game. But they got that jammy goal. Ruben Neves is going to step up here for the first penalty. And what a save from the goalkeeper. Wesley's going to go bottom right-hand corner. And the back of the net from Wesley Marias. That's the start we needed. Aaron Gies. Aaron Gies is going to put this one on the bottom right-hand corner. Some heating is good from penalty actually. It's good from the spot. Trezeguet is gonna go to the bottom right hand corner. Oh, why did I change my mind there? Oh, Bolatini has smashed that one way wide. Gapa Ogapo is gonna go the bottom right hand corner. Why does the goalkeeper always make saves on that right hand corner? And he's missed it as well. He went for the chip there. Penalties have been awful in this game. Jack Grealish is going to step up here. Surely he's not going to miss. He's our penalty taker into the bottom right-hand corner. The place where the goalkeeper has made lots of saves in this game. But not in that occasion. Neto here. Neto straight into the middle. I, I, I was going to stay in the middle there for that, for that penalty actually. My target then is going to step up. The fans are nervous. He's going to go to the bottom right-hand corner for the winner. And he's done it. Louis Patricio never went for the ball. And that's it for the game here. We have won on penalties. I think it's 3-2. It's finished. I'm not sure though. Both sides. It wasn't the best of penalties to be honest. But then again it doesn't really matter. The most important thing was that we won this game. And that's exactly what we have done. Lovely penalty there from my target. To be honest if you've, if you've asked me to pick a player that's going to take a winning penalty for us. I wouldn't have picked my targets, but fair play to him. Lovely penalty there from the fullback. We were the better team, as you can see there. Wolves never deserved a draw in that game, but yeah.
Some of the other scores then in the other games in this competition, Arsenal beating Nottingham Forest 2-1, you've got Spurs as well going through into the semi-finals, win 3-0 away from home, Liverpool just winning 5-4 on penalties against Manchester City, that's good, it means one of the top sides is out of the competition and we of course won 3-2 on penalties, I hope we get, um, what's the best thing we can get there though? Arsenal, Spurs or Liverpool I hope we'll get Arsenal to be honest but yeah let's go straight into the press conference here into the press conference then a 10 quarter finals the same you know what are your thoughts on winning on penalties fully deserved I'm gonna say we were the better team in the first half the second half the extra time as well and on, luckily for us we won on penalties and how satisfied are you with Trezeguet he deserves all the praise why not he scored that goal for us which turned out to be a very important goal actually and the final question here after Aaron Gay scored you know did you think it was gonna be decided on penalties I'm just gonna go ahead and say the club fights till the end it doesn't matter what way you know if we have to win on penalties then we have to do it but yeah we go into the next game a fine place to take in a match, Vicarage Road. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee. The players are outside then on a rainy day at Vicarage Road here, the home of Watford. I was initially going to sim this game, but then I've just checked they've won their last four or five games. So with the with the situation of the league, I couldn't afford to sim this one. Not with Liverpool and Manchester City just being a few points ahead of us. It's a strong back four there with Wilmot. He was on loan at Swansea last season, wasn't he? Ishmael Assar is back to the team. They've got Loftus Cheek as well in that number 10 position. De La Faux on the left hand side. It's a strong team there, isn't it? The pace of the forward three as well. For us then, we're back with Jack Butland and goal. Bastoni comes into the team as well. John McGinn, Phillips and Jack Grealish. Toku Wesley and Grant up front. Let's see how this one turns up. We've got the likes of Nakamba and um, O'Carroll on the bench as well. If we need to turn things around, we can call on to certain players like that. Out wide now to William, the right back for Watford. We have to win this game, by the way. The pressure is on us right now to keep on winning. If we lose one more game or get one more draw here, I think the title is gone. But yeah, comfortable there for Jack Butland in goal. He's giving it away though, trying to find Wesley there. I need to calm down a little bit in this game. Ducore. Ducore looking for space to take a shot, but he's giving it straight to us. Doku now on that right hand side is going to go back here. Well, not back. He's going to find Gilbert. Gilbert to John McGee. John McGee is going to find Phillips. Phillips who got that cracking goal against Manchester United for his first goal for us. Nice movement here with the ball by the way. Jack Grealish is going to somehow find himself one on one. It's so easy at the moment. Nice movement. That must have been about 10 to 15 passes leading up to this goal. It was just beautiful to watch. That pass as well from Wesley to find Jack Grealish who is just not going to miss from that. There's a reason we gave him a rest for that Wolves game in the cup. That's because of this game coming up and he hasn't let us down here. Lovely finish from the skipper. How is Morales, Alfredo Morales winning that header there anyway? Switch a play here to Ismail Asar who is a wonderful winger. By the way, what are we doing there? We got away with one there. I can't believe the ref never gave a penalty. I can't believe that. But yeah, we need to stop making stupid little errors like that at the back. He smiles Asar on that right hand side. He skipped past my target, but he's opted to go back. He smiles Asar on the ball again. He's going to find Jekka. Jekka is giving the ball away, but he somehow won it back though. Ducore to Delafo! Oh, that's not what we needed in this game. We got an early goal, but for some reason we have been awful since then. And this equalizer for Watford have been coming, to be honest. The call right there is going to run to give the manager a hug. <sighs> Wonderful player, by the way, Gerard Delafoe. 
can't complain too much that he scored against us. There are players that when they scored against her, when they scored against me, it winds me up so much. But Delafo is not one of them. Oh, the space opened up here for the. Oh my God, we have just conceded a goal, and straight from kickoff, we've gone to get the second goal here. Wesley with another assist in that centre forward role. He doesn't give you much goal like you would expect your striker to, but it provides link up play like this very well for us. We saw the first one with Jack Grealish's goal and lovely pass now to John McGinn who was never going to miss from there let's be honest with the form he's been in this season and that's his 8th goal of the season John McGinn the Scottish international the Scottish Perlo should we call him yeah we call him the Scottish Perlo why not or the Scottish Javi or the Scottish Iniesta whatever you want to call him oh my god what a tackle that is what a tackle I think I'm not sure who that is but I think that was Tyra Minx but anyway we're gonna try to get the third goal here Wesley Wesley with a lovely link up play again to find Doku oh, so that's our throw in surely the lines, the lines man has given it against us though for some reason Delafoe there with the lovely turn we know he's quick Gerard Delafoe is gonna go inside to Decore who's a fantastic midfielder by the way I'm surprised why any of the top, top six haven't made a beat for him yet. He's had such a good season, especially last, last season as well for Watford. Maybe this season haven't been the best, but last season he was superb for them. We're just about hanging on here now. Just a minute left, crossing to the far post. Ismail Assad just unable to keep that one in. How happy the fans are though. That's it for the first half, 2-1 victory. I've got to say, with how this game have gone, a draw is definitely the you know the more a draw is definitely the more accurate result. But we're winning it two one. We can't complain. Jack Grealish with a switch of play out wide to Carlin Grant. Grant is going to cut inside here to his right foot. The defender has gone to ground too quick. Carlin Grant trying to find Jack Grealish, but they've given the ball to him though. Jack. Oh. Oh my god. I almost lost my voice there then. Jack Grealish with a lovely pass that was to John McGinn, but we couldn't do anything from it. Grant on the ball now. He's going to find Jack Grealish again in that number 10 position. Jack Grealish trying to bend one there. I think that's a corner. That was actually going to the top right hand corner, you know. Look at that again. That was going in, you know. I tell you, that was going in. That would have been such a goal. But anyway, we'll take the corner here. It's been dealt with by the Watford defender. The goalkeeper is going to claim that one. Wesley just couldn't get to it. It's been all us in the second half, to be fair. Watford, I thought, was the better team in the first half. The end of the first half. But we have been the better team in the second half. Doku there to skip past the defender. But again, his end product letting him down. That hasn't, that hasn't been the case though for the last few games. But yeah, it looks like we are back to the same problem that we have with Doku. His end product, we need to train that up as quick as we can. Jack Grealish here. Jack Grealish is going to cut into his right foot. Surely he's going to make this one 3-1. That's the finish we needed. That's the, that's the comfortable, that's the goal we needed to be comfortable in this game. The third goal for us, the second goal for Jack Grealish. Lovely finish to that bottom right hand corner. I don't know how many goals he scored this season. I've lost count already. But yeah, there's another one in Grealish's collection. Lovely finish. The goalkeeper didn't stand a chance. Look at that again. Jack Grealish there doing what he does best. That's his 24th goal in the Premier League. Insane for a midfielder. Alfredo Morales have been taken. Morales have been taken off. I'm confusing Morales with our player Morales. But yeah. He was taken off there for Hernandez. Is that Chicharito Hernandez? I'm not sure. Carlin Grant has been set free on that left hand side. Carlin Grant has got the pace. He's gonna go into his right foot. He's gonna find Wesley. Wesley to Jack Grealish to get his hat trick. Good save from the goalkeeper though. That's Muller in goal for Watford. I don't know who that goalkeeper is. I've never heard of him before. 
But Watford has been awful this second half, by the way. Wesley. Wesley trying to skip past the defender there with a good turn, but that wasn't the case. Hernandez is going to find Ishmael Assar on that right hand side. Assar is going to find Hernandez. Hernandez and Loftus Cheek combining very well there. There's the second goal for Watford. Again, it's been brought down to one goal deficit. Nice little interchange there between Hernandez and. Who's that? Between Hernandez and Loftus Cheek. Juanda, that's not, that's not Chicharito Hernandez. Juan Camilo Hernandez. Nice finish there. We're going to make a couple of substitutes here anyway. Wesley is going to be taking off. Ooh. Gapo. Yeah, Wesley to be taking off for Gapo there. Are we going to need a fourth goal to seal this victory here? It's 3 2. We know Watford are a very good side, although they haven't, had, they haven't been having the best of season here. The cross been dealt with there by Tyra Mings, only to Loftus Cheek, though. Loftus Cheek. Oh, come on, get it cleared. Get it cleared. They've got time though. Gapo here is going to go for a run here. It's quick. No one is catching him. Gapo here. Gapo looking for the space. He's going to find Jack Grealish with the touch. Oh my God. That was the chance to get the fourth goal. He's done everything right there. Lovely touch. Except the finish that I've just let him down slightly. Oh, I can't complain too much. He scored two goals in this game. He scored 24 goals all season. We can't criticize him for missing a chance. He's been by far our best player this season. This is going to be the end of the game anyway. Fantastic victory. You know, I tell you what, the last few games we have played, these have been the one where we had to dig deep. Especially the start of the first half and the last 15 to 20 minutes in the second half. It was just all Watford. But yeah, luckily for us, we have come away with a 3-2 victory. Jack Grealish there with a the man of the match performance. Lovely from the skipper. Let's talk about something really important here, by the way. This is not my decision. This is the club's decision. This has been like this ever since I walked into the club and became the manager. But you've got Marco Van Hinkel. He's only played two bloody games this season. And he's our second highest owner in the team. Now, you can't have a player on 69k just playing two games in the season that's just waste of wages to be honest with you we have got as well Mikael Sanhouser as well on 51k a week and he has not played any game for us this season so we're paying him 51k to just train with the first team that's insane and here's another one Jan Kopic 43k a week he hasn't played a single game for us this season the three of them we have been trying to move out ever since I came to the club but no one wants to put an offer for them the sooner we get rid of them the better it's going to be for the whole team our young player here 22 years of age 73 overall he's played some important games for us this season as well let's not forget that um green here andre green we have gone on to give him a squad rotation role four years contracts no release clause bumped his wages a little bit as well to 20k a week and a signing on bonus of 100k hopefully he signed that Hopefully there's not too much problem here. That's a fair offer. My client is happy with that. We're happy to keep you at the club for longer as well. He only had four months left on his contract. So we had to do that. The likes of Neil Taylor, the likes of um, Dominic. I'm not sure if I'm going to be giving him a contract yet. But the likes of Ahmed El Hamadi as well and Basley Graham we are going to be letting the three of them go for free when their contract expires I don't think I'm going to be giving them a new contract Jota have signed a contract agreement with a Turkish side I can't remember who there is we're going to be let, letting Callum Rowe go as well 56 overall is is not going to have any any much of a future with us so we are not going to be giving them new contracts here but anyway let's get into that game against Everton 
We have got an email saying one of our youth player, Archie Morgan, he wants to leave the youth academy. You know, some top clubs have been looking for a signature, probably wants a better wages. That's why he want to move. You know what? I'm going to promote him to the first team here. He's got a fantastic potential, by the way, that kid. I think it, it might he might have a potential of potential to be special, I believe center forward as well just 18 years of age look at that 88 to 94 potential some of his starters as well are very good even though he's only 18 years of age six foot as well so that's very good for a center forward of course we're going to promote him to the first team and give him that 4k a week as well that's fine and hopefully we we, we are going to be able to loan him out you know probably next season that's going to be but yeah let's get into this game this is how we're going to line up for this one then, for this massive game against Everton. Let's not forget, Everton are fighting for the top six at the moment, so it's not going to be easy for us. We have got Jack Botland in goal as Riconza comes into the team in place of Bastoni. We have got Phillips in that CDM position, Jack Grealish and John McGinn in the box-to-box -box role. John McGinn, by the way, who've just signed a new lucrative sponsorship deal with New Balance. It's one he couldn't turn down, and I hope he can be a role model Model for the young kids out there looking to put that Rome, looking to put that new balance boot on, and hopefully he can get a couple of goals with that as well. You've got Green on the left hand side, he's just signed a new contract as well. Hopefully, he can start paying that 20k a week back from this game. Carl and Grant in the center forward position, and Doku on the right hand side. And yeah, let's get into this game. This match is Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal... Leverance line up for this one then, the 4-4-2 formation. Jordan Pickford in goal, Martina and Dinier as the fullback. Got Moiskin, Sigurdsson, Gomez and Iwobi as well. Richard Lissin in, what's his name again? Wong Chan up front, their number nine in this game. But yeah, Liverpool have played two more games than us by the way, and as a result of that, they've got five more points than us we have to keep winning here to put the pressure on both them and Liverpool and Manchester City I mean Tyra Mings out wide to my target but we've given it straight away there that's not the start we needed in this game I've got to be honest Sigurds into Richarlison Richarlison lovely turn there Everton are playing very well now they're moving the ball quite nicely as well oh, what a save from the goalkeeper what a save that is. Still not clear though. Alex Iwobi. Ah, oh, Jack Botland just getting there first. Very impressive there from the goalkeeper. Now the chance has opened up to move the ball quickly. Oh, nice pass there to Doku. Has he got the pace? Yes, he has. Doku has got the pace on Dinier. Doku is still going. Oh, the... oh, a little bit greedy for me there once again. Every time I get to those opportunities with Doku, I try to force the ball to the near post. Another save from Pickford and goal. Jordan Pickford with two wonderful saves in quick successions there. Oh, that's just straight to him though. Should have done a little bit better, John McGinn. Couldn't do anything with that corner there. Look at that confirmation that we are third on the table, just two points below Liverpool and Manchester City. But we have got a game in hand on Liverpool, so that's good. If we win that game in hand, we go a point above them. Doku again on that right hand side to Calvin Phillips, who have kept things ticking in this game for us, you know. Jack Grealish is going to try to bend one, but that's one he wouldn't want to see again. That's poor, poor attempt from the skipper. Sigurdsson is going to find Dinier on that left hand side. Dinier, we know he's got a decent cross into the box. Jack Botland have decided to punch that one though. Luckily for us, it fell straight to my target. The break is on here. Jack Willis is going to find Green. He's just signed a new contract. Green, can you pay us back for that new contract into the bottom right hand corner? That's the pace. That's the start we needed. Lovely pass from Jack Grealish. Green with the composure there to make all that ground. One on one with the goalkeeper and it's just slotted it into the bottom right hand corner. The composure though. In you go. Easy as you like. Look at that. It took his time. He knows 
He knows where he want to put that ball and that's exactly what it did there. Nice finish and that's only his first goal as well in the Premier League. You know, for the amount of games he's played, he should have got, definitely got more than that. I did apologise to him by the way for taking him off, for taking him off in that Manchester City game in the cup final very early as well. Sigurdsson is going to find Richarlison. We know he's good. Richarlison with a lovely pass to Moiskeen out on the right hand side. I don't know why he's playing on the right hand. Actually he's not playing on the right hand side. They're playing with two strikers aren't they? I'm not sure now. Carvin Phillips there though, he showed good strength to find Green. Green here, he's got so much space on that left hand side, he's gonna pull it back to... Oh my god, what a finish! The pullback from Green was just awesome. But what a finish though, that's what we're talking about. He's just composure, you know, composure personifies. It's just so good. I tell you what, I'm made up now, I never signed Nandes instead. We saw him score that power header against Manchester United. But look at that for a finish though. Most players will put their laces through that. But nah, not Carvin Phillips. Lovely finish into that bottom right hand corner. Pickford has no chance. And that's 2-0 off for us just like that in the 41st minute as well. We're going to be able to hang on here at least for the, first of the, for the rest of the first half. And we can think about the second half then. Alexi Wolby with a switch of play to Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson to Andre Gomez. Gomez back to Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson back to Gomez. Switch of play out wide to Iwobi, but it's gone out for our throw in. Everton are rattled at the moment. They don't know what hit them. You know, Andre Green and Andre Green and Calvin Phillips have hit them so hard in this game. Doku now on that right hand side, can we make this the third goal, I'm waiting for the pullback, Doku to Jack Grealish, the shot's been blocked there, that would have been the third goal, normally Jack Grealish would bury that one, but that wasn't the, that wasn't the case to be in that, in that occasion, but yeah Manchester City still 0-0 against Crystal Palace, that could be a fantastic result if it stays leveled like that by the way. Moiskeen on the back is going to find um, the, I, I can't remember what his name is now, Hongwe Chan, something like that, he's going to find Iwobi on that right hand side, Iwobi with a cross into the box, that's one Andre Gomez wouldn't want to see again, but he somehow managed to find um, Martina on that right hand side, Martina back to Andre Gomez. Gomez with a cross into the box. Oh, we know how good Sigurdsson, not Sigurdsson. We know how good Richarlison is from the air in, on aerial threats, but unluckily, unluckily for him, he couldn't get that one on target. Andre Gray with another cross into the box has been dealt with by Ezra Kunza. We are getting spammed right now from crosses from Everton. Every opportunity they get, they want to go wide and put crosses into the box. And that's the third time in quick succession. That's a goal kick there. Tyron Mings just doing enough to put off Alexi Wolby. Yeah, he just did enough there, didn't he? he was, like, was he trying to run away from the ball? He was actually try. He was actually trying to not head the ball there. Alexi Wolby, scared of scared of heading the ball, mate. Ah, oh, poor, poor attempt to switch the ball there, but Carl and Grant though, Carl and Grant's lovely pass to O'Caro, O'Caro with the first time cross, I should have taken a touch there and tried to bend one, O'Caro the second half substitute trying to make an impact there, yeah that, that was always going to be difficult for Jack Relish let's be honest, I should have taken a touch with O'Caro there and looked to bend one with his left foot, I'm not sure what he's, you know, how many how good he, he is, what his rating in terms of weak foot on the game but every time I take a shot with, with his right or left foot he doesn't let me down I need to check that out by the way another cross from Everton, we're getting spammed with crosses right now from Everton bye from Everton they're not gonna score any from it though I'm very confident we're gonna do very well here, Hingui Chan He's gave it away now Gilbert on that right hand side can we hit them on the break Gilbert's gonna find John McGinn John McGinn to Phillips 
Phillips gonna find McGean again. McGean is gonna find Okaro on that left hand side. Okaro here has got the pace. Okaro is still going. Okaro is gonna find Doku with a second. Is it a second goal of the game? I think it might be his second goal of the game here, Doku. But what a goal that is. The composure as well from Okaro on that right hand side. Yeah, we couldn't have asked for any more to be honest. A seventh goal of the season, fantastic. I actually moved him to the right hand side for the to the left hand side for the rest of the second half. Yeah, this is gonna be the end of the game here. It's been it's been a very good good episode for us. Three from three, I believe. Time to give Ancelotti a pat on the back and go well done mate, you've tried your luck twice now and you haven't been able to get any in from us. Alexi will be looking devastated there on his knees. But yeah, we're going to go into the press conference here. But first of all, who's the man of the match? Andre Green, no doubt about that, a goal and an assist for him. You know, Okaro was very good as well coming off, coming off the bench in the second half there. John McGean, fantastic. In fact, the whole team did well in this game, I've got to say. We dominated 11 shots, 7 on targets. Oh, Manchester City drew 0-0 against Crystal Palace. Unbelievable. Manchester City drew 0-0. Are you confident of keeping the streak rolling? Of course. Did Everton make it too easy? The last did it, to be honest. All credit goes to the lads for their hard work and, you know, getting another victory here for us today were you expecting a more competitive match um it was a hard fought match to be honest we were just more clinical on the day Thank you, <laughs> i can't believe this at the moment what's happening here right now look at the look at the top three in the league table manchester city aston villa and liverpool just one point separates the three teams roy hudson has done it again nil nil against manchester city away from home he's done it in real life a couple of times and he's doing it in fifa 20 as well i would not have believed crystal palace are going to get a draw away from home against manchester city in this game but that's exactly what has happened there and we play crystal palace nest as well i'm a little bit worried about that but anyway, let's have a look at the top goal scorers at the moment. It's still Jack Grealish with 24 goals. He's flying the season, isn't he? 24 goals in 29 games. You've got Mane, Aguero, Lacazette, Salah, Pulisic. You've got Pulsin as well, scoring goals for Newcastle United. He's a very good player, isn't he? And the assist charts then, as you would imagine, Kevin De Bruyne is up there, 14 assists. Jack Grealish, 10 assists. That is 34 goals contribution in 29 games. That's just insane. You've got Sebastian Haller as well up there. Lacazette and Aaron Gies. You've got Fernandes. But yeah, you've got Doku as well with eight assists. He's still up there. He's been getting, he's been getting so many of them recently. It's unreal. But yeah, we're going to end the episode here anyway. Let's see the teams we have got to play on the next one. We've got Crystal Palace, Wolves, Bournemouth and potentially the Arsenal game. It's only eight league games left, I believe. We have played 30 games and we've got Leeds as well. We've got Derby County. That's two games we ideally want to be getting six points in. But anyway, it's been a fantastic episode and as usual, don't forget to smash that like button if you've enjoyed the video so far. Subscribe to the channel as well if you're new to it. And if you can share the video to get more people watching it as well, that would be amazing. I would appreciate that a lot. But yeah, bye for now and I'll see you in the next one.